Welcome back to the Morning Blend. It's estimated that 100 million Americans suffer from chronic pain, and most believe more research should be done to find relief. And joining us now is Dr. Natalie Strand with some breakthrough techniques to manage chronic pain. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for joining us. I, I often think with, with chronic pain that, that there are so many other problems that come as a result of it, like depression, for example, because, because people get so frustrated about living with pain that never seems to let up. Absolutely. Patients become hopeless. They become frustrated. Depression and anxiety are very common in patients that have chronic pain, as well as um, sleep difficulties. It's very hard to sleep when you're in chronic pain, so that can make depression worse. It can also make your pain worse. So you're right, in addition to pain, a lot of other aspects of your life can be affected. Let's put it in perspective. How many people um, do we estimate live with chronic pain? At this time in the United States, over 100 million people. So to put that in perspective, that's almost one in three Americans at this point are living with some sort of chronic pain. What are some examples um, that come to mind of chronic pain conditions? Oh, the, the common ones are things like fibromyalgia, peripheral neuropathy, osteoarthritis, sciatica. Those are all common examples of chronic pain. How about treating it? What is, what's the good news? Well, the good news is, is that we're always making advancements in technology. So while every patient should have a tailored approach, meaning that they should have something specifically for their syndrome, I think that the technological advancements are very, very exciting. So for example, the Quell device, uh, where you can find more information at quellrelief.com. It's a wearable intensive nerve stimulation device that actually triggers your brain to release opioids. So your body treats pain internally, turning down the pain signals volume, if you will. How does it work? Where do you wear it? Is it a big device? No, actually it's a very sleek device. It's worn on the calf. Uh, you can wear it under clothes, you can wear it while you're working or exercising, you can even wear it when you sleep. It's actually the only FDA cleared device of its kind that you can wear during sleep. So I think that's very nice for patients that have pain during sleep. What kind of responses are people getting with it? How much um, reduction in their pain are they seeing? Well, patients are having excellent responses. Actually, the majority of patients who have trialed this so far are able to decrease or come off of medication. Everybody should work with their physician if they're going to do this. Um, but people are having dramatic results, so allowing them to come off of medication I think is very positive, and patients are very happy about that aspect of the, of the care. Absolutely, especially because there's so many medications that have horrible side effects. And you mentioned that people wear it on the calf, but that's not necessarily where the pain is. That's just a position that people wear it. Yeah, absolutely, and thank you for bringing that up. This is indicated for widespread pain, so it, it doesn't work on the calf. It, you wear it on the calf, but it actually works centrally to help with pain that's widespread over the body. So absolutely, it does not have to be calf pain for this to work. That's only where it is worn. I bet it's exciting for you as a doctor that as it relates to research, it's not just another new medication or another pill that people take, but something where they're not putting chemicals in their bodies. Absolutely. I'm very passionate about non-opiate pain therapies because opioids, while they're very effective, they have a lot of side effects. So I, I really like to talk about diet, um, exercise, sleep, and of course now the new technologies that we have, very empowering for patients to take control into their own hands. Are you also a fan of things like acupuncture and massage? I certainly am. Uh, I think that it's very important for patients to look into complementary and alternative medicine. It's important for you to find everything that can give you help possible because it can be so devastating to live with chronic pain. So even if it only helps reduce pain by 10 to 20 percent, that's really important. Wonderful. And where can people go for more information? For more information on the Quell device, go to quellrelief.com. That'll give you advice on how to get the device, also how it works, and to see if it's right for you. Wonderful. Thanks for your time this morning, doctor. Okay. Thank you, Molly. Appreciate it.